The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Animated book summary. All laws explained. Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. After this video, you will understand the hype that Robert Greene's book garners. You will also know about the techniques of manipulation that have made the non-fiction enjoy so much fame and infamy across the globe. This video tries to analyse all the four laws of power as compiled by the author. But before we start with this video, I just want to mention our new course called 30 Days to Alpha that we have been working on for almost six months. It is based on three different 30-day challenges and more very useful things that will completely transform your life. The course includes complete confidence mastery, complete nofap mastery, and complete life mastery. So, if you are ready to skyrocket your confidence by over five times, master the power of nofap, completely change your life, and become the alpha of your group, check out the link in the description. Do you know that Robert Greene's 1998 bestseller, The 48 Laws of Power, is banned in US prisons? I kid you not. Authorities feared that the book could be used as a training manual for mental warfare and that inmates can learn too much about manipulation and power. But what's the real deal with the book? To Greene, power is a social game and to master it, you must be able to study and understand people. But you must always take the most indirect path to power. Many people have said that the points raised in the book aren't really laws but maxims, copied from ancient world examples, which might be applied to some modern circumstances. I will let you be the judge on whether the laws are good or bad or even practical in today's world. So, ladies and gents, I bring you the contentious 48 laws of power. Law 1. Never outshine the master. Always make your masters appear more brilliant than they are, and you will attain the peak of power. Don't show the limits of your own talent so you don't make your masters feel insecure. In essence, the better you make your superior appear, the greater the level of power you will get. This is because those above you want to feel secure and superior in their own positions. You can achieve this by making a few harmless mistakes so you can ask for your superior's guidance. Law number two, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Your friends are more likely to quickly betray you as they tend to be envious, but if you hire someone who used to be your enemy, they will prove themselves more trustworthy, as they have more to prove. So, you have more to fear from your friends than your enemies. Most times, you think you know your friends very well. This is because honesty doesn't strengthen bonds all the time. Therefore, friends usually hide their true feelings about each other. It is best to hire an enemy because your intentions are upfront and are not clouded with personal feelings. Law 3. Conceal your intentions. Hide your intentions, but not by closing up, but by talking endlessly about your desires and goals, just not the real ones. By this, you'll achieve three things. 1. Appear friendly, open and trusting. 2. Hide your intentions. And 3. You will send your enemies on time-consuming wild goose chases. Distract your rivals. This comes as a simple fact. People can only focus on one thing at a time. It will be hard for them to think that the unexciting and harmless person they are dealing with is at the same time planning something else. Law 4. Always say less than necessary. By saying less, powerful people impress others. The more you say, the more likely it is that you will end up saying something stupid. Silence makes people feel uncomfortable because people are constantly trying to work out what others are thinking. By controlling what you say, you can effectively handle great power. After all, they are likely to fill in the silences you leave, revealing more information about their own intentions and weaknesses. Law 5. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Always be on the lookout for potential attacks and stop them in their tracks. In the meantime, learn to crush your enemies by opening holes in their own reputations. Then, step aside and let public opinion finish them. And once you attack them by instigating rumours, your enemies are in trouble. Ridiculing your opponents is a double-edged sword. It puts them on the defensive and brings more attention to you, thereby enhancing your own reputation. Law 6. Court attention at all costs. Appearance is everything, therefore you must stand out, make yourself appear more interesting and larger and more mysterious than people. You can achieve this by surrounding your name with scandal and sensation simultaneously. Do not forget that notoriety of any type brings power. Always remember that it is better to be hated or slandered than to be ignored. 
You can further achieve this by creating an air of mystery around yourself. People are attracted to those who seem enigmatic, so an air of mystery will increase your presence and create anticipation, as everyone will be interested in seeing what your next move would be. Law 7. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. If others can do it for you, never do it yourself. Use their wisdom and knowledge to achieve your own goals. By doing this, you'll appear smart and intimidating to others. Essentially, those who work for you will be forgotten and you will be remembered. If you think that you must do all the work yourself, you won't get far. So, find people with the skills that you don't have and find a way to either take their work as your own or hire them and put your name on their efforts. But, to effectively do this, your position must be secure. Otherwise, people will suspect and expose you as a deceiver. Law 8. Make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. For meetings or negotiations, it is always smart to entice others into your own territory, or the territory where you want them to be. Let them come to you, then attack. Luring them to your turf will make them abandon their plans and strategies. Law 9. Win through your actions, never through arguments. Any victory you gain through argument won't last. In fact, your rivals will hate you the more, instead of genuinely changing their opinions. So, let your actions speak for you. Law 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. When you suspect that you are in the presence of an infector, don't argue, don't try to help, don't even introduce them to your friends or you will become infected with their negativity. It's either you run away from the infector's presence or bear the costs. Law 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. The more people rely on you, the more freedom you'll have. But be careful not to ever teach those around you with enough information that they start doing things for themselves. This is how you make people want you without forcing or hurting them. Law 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. By being generous, you can disarm even the most suspicious people. And once you do that, you'll be able to manipulate them as you please. Being nice to people distracts those you wish to deceive while turning them into docile children who are only happy by the affectionate gesture. Law 11. When asking for help, appeal to the self-interests of others, never to their mercy or gratitude. If you must ask for help, make sure that your request includes a benefit for your ally that you can incredibly exaggerate. When your ally sees that they can get something in return, they're more likely to respond with enthusiasm. Law 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. Knowing about your rival is important. By posing as a friend, you can ask indirect questions and slowly get your rivals to disclose their weaknesses and their intentions. When you have this information, you can get better at predicting their next move. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. Crushing your enemies partially means that they will recover and seek revenge, but you can have peace when they are completely dealt with. If you manage to remove all of your rival's options, then they'll have no choice but to follow your will. So, by giving them nothing to negotiate with and no room to manoeuvre, you'll have crushed them. Law 16. Use absence to increase respect and honour. There's an English saying that goes thus, familiarity breeds contempt. Robert Greene underscores this idea in Law 16. The more present you are, the more common you appear. So, create an air of scarcity around yourself to increase value. Let your group miss you by intermittently withdrawing so that they can talk about you and admire you more. Law 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Too much unpredictability will be seen as a sign of indecisiveness or even of some more serious psychic problem. Patterns are powerful and you can terrify people by disrupting them. Such power should only be used well. Law 18. Do not build a fortress to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. If you choose to isolate yourself from your enemies and the world at large, you will cut yourself off from important information. And that makes you vulnerable to attack. It's usually better to mix with people because humans are social creatures and power comes from social interaction. Law 19. Know who you're dealing with. Don't offend the wrong person. Choose your enemies wisely. Some people, once defeated, will spend the rest of their lives seeking revenge. Therefore, it is sensible not to offend the wrong person. The skill of correctly measuring people is the most important with regards to getting and maintaining power. Before you work with people, be sure to have studied them over a long period of time to know their true nature. Law 20. Don't commit to anyone. 
The only cause you should commit to is yourself. Maintain your independence at all costs. This can help you to play people off against each other. When you hold back from joining a cause, you create a sense of respect because you appear untouchable. Also, stay out of small fights and squabbles. Pretend to be interested, but let others do the fighting while you watch and wait. It is usually a good tactic to stir up quarrels between two parties and then gain power by acting as the go-between. Law 21. Play a sucker to catch a sucker. Appear dumber than your mark. No one likes to feel stupid, so this is a great trick to make your enemies feel smarter than you. Once they believe themselves to be more intelligent, they'll never suspect that you have any ulterior motives. Law 22. Use the surrender tactic. Transform weakness into power. Surrender before you're about to be defeated. This buys you more time to plan your revenge and to punish your conqueror. By surrendering, you deny them satisfaction of destroying you. In doing this, you weaponize your act of surrendering. In addition, by yielding, you gain the upper hand because you deceive your rivals into thinking that they've defeated you, even as you plot their downfall. This confounds them and means they are unlikely to act aggressively against you. Law 23. Concentrate your forces. Conserve your energies by focusing them all on a single source of power. In the course of looking for such a source, recognize a single spring that'll sustain you for a long time to come. You have more power by finding a singularly rich source than flitting between many more shadow sources of power. Law 24. Play the perfect courtier. The courtier uses power through careful means by flattering and yielding to their superiors and only enforcing their power through grace and charm, they gradually accumulate an ever-increasing amount of power. There are many steps you can take to become the perfect courtier and they involve the following. Practice nonchalance. Be frugal with flattery. Adapt your style and language according to your audience. Avoid being the bearer of bad news. Don't criticize your superiors. Be self-observant. Master your emotions and be a source of pleasure. Law 25. Recreate yourself. Do not accept the position that society gives you. Make your own identity, one that commands attention. Master your image instead of letting others dictate it for you. Remake yourself into a figure of power as if you're moulding yourself from clay. To do this, you must be self-aware and you must learn to master your emotions. Law 26. Keep your hands clean. Hide your mistakes. Have a scapegoat to blame. Also, you will need a cat's paw. This is someone who does your dirty work for you while concealing your involvement. This can mean letting someone else be the bearer of bad news while deciding to associate yourself with the good. Law 27. Create a cult-like following by playing on people's need to believe. There are five rules of cult making. 1. Keep your words vague and simple but full of promise. 2. Emphasize enthusiasm instead, rather than the intellectual and the rational. 3. Structure your group according to the forms of organized religion. 4. Disguise your sources of income. And 5. Create an us versus them dynamic. Law 28. Enter action with boldness. Everyone likes the bold. The timid are frowned upon. So you shouldn't choose a course of action without enthusiasm. Your doubts will become apparent and you will tarnish your reputation. It is often better to act boldly. Any mistakes made are easily compensated by acting even more boldly. Only a few people are born bold. It's a learned habit and must be practiced. The same goes for timidity. If you find yourself acting timidly, you must root this out and replace it with acts of boldness instead. Law 29. Plan all the way to the end. Always plan until the end. This means thinking about every possibility that could prevent you from attaining your end goal. So, you will be able to accommodate any surprises along the way and secure your future. A lot of people are too trapped by their emotions at the moment to see ahead. This will give you the upper hand. Law 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. Make your success appear easy, hide all the hard work and tricks you use to achieve it, as it otherwise arouses too much curiosity in others. Do not reveal how you reached your position of power to anyone, or they may use it against you. The more mysterious your actions appear, the greater your power appears to be. Law 31. Control the options, get others to play with the cards you deal. By giving your rivals a choice, they'll feel that they're controlling their destiny. What they won't know is that you are using them as a puppet to choose between two scenarios, both of which serve you. 
When given a choice between two possibilities, people rarely consider all the other potential options that could be available. Instead, they blindly prefer to believe they have the power in their decision-making. Too much freedom creates anxiety. By arranging a narrow range of choices, you can guide your opponent to play right into your hands. Law 32. Play into people's fantasies. People do not always believe that their problems arise from their own stupidity and misdeeds. Someone or something out there is to blame. The other, the government, the world, the gods. And so salvation comes from the outside too. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Find people's weaknesses. This is usually an insecurity, an uncontrolled desire or emotion, or sometimes a secret pleasure. To do this, look for the following. Instances where they act like a child, which indicates some unresolved trauma in childhood. Contrasts as an overt trait usually hides its opposite, i.e. arrogance is usually concealing insecurity. The weak link, which is often someone behind the scenes controlling their behaviour. Ways to fill the void of their insecurity or happiness to wield significant power. How to encourage their uncontrollable emotion, as they won't be able to control themselves, and you can do the controlling for them. Law 34. Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. How you present yourself to everyone will determine how others see and treat you. Carry yourself with self-respect, confidence and dignity to make it appear that you were destined for power. We must make ourselves demand and expect as much as a young child. Believe that you are destined for greatness and this belief will reflect outwards and others will believe it too. Law 35. Master the art of timing. Patience is a virtue, never seem to be in a rush. Learn to be a punctual and only strike when the timing is right. Because time is a perception, by mastering your emotions, you can make time seem to move more slowly and lengthen your perception of the future. This allows you to become more patient and to see the bigger picture. Law 36. Disdain things you cannot have. Ignoring them is the best revenge. The less interest you take in things that annoy you, the more superior you seem. By acknowledging your rival, you give their existence credibility and therefore power. The more you want something, the more it leaves you, as your interest is too strong which makes others feel uncomfortable and fearful. By turning your back on what you want, you'll drive your opponents crazy. Law 37. Create compelling spectacles. By making big gestures, you will increase your presence and your power. People will be too surprised by appearances to uncover what you're really up to. As opposed to using words, visual gestures have an emotive power and immediacy that leave no room for doubt. Law 38. Think as you like, but behave like others. By consistently going against what everyone else follows, people will begin to hate you for making them inferior. Practice blending in and hiding your true feelings to nurture the common touch. This will help you to be left alone to express your true beliefs in a targeted way. As soon as you make the base of power, you can then start to disseminate your beliefs slowly, and they are more likely to be adopted. Law 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Emotion and anger are strategically counterproductive. You must always stay calm and objective. But if you can make your enemies angry while staying calm yourself, you gain a decided advantage. Law 40. Despise the free lunch. Never trust anything that comes for free. Anything of worth is paying for. By paying, you avoid falling into the trap of having to be grateful, deceitful or guilty. Additionally, being lavish with your money is a sign of power. Law 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. What came first always appears to be more authentic than what follows. Don't be lost in the shadows of those who came before you. It is necessary to establish your own name and identity by not following the same trajectory as your predecessors. Law 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Within any group, trouble can usually be traced to a single source, the sad, chronically dissatisfied one who will always stir up discord and infect the group with their uneasiness. In no time, the dissatisfaction spreads. Act before it becomes impossible to disentangle. Law 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Do not forget that the key to persuasion is softening people up and breaking them down gently. Charm them with a two-sided method, work on their emotions and play on their intellectual weaknesses. Law 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. By mirroring your opponents and doing exactly as they do, you embarrass them and cause them to overreact. By making them believe you share their values, they will find it difficult to work out your strategy as they are blinded by your mirror.
Law 45 preached the need for change but never reform too much at once. If change is compulsory, make it feel like a gentle improvement in the past. Even while people understand the need for change, knowing how crucial it is for institutions and individuals to be occasionally strengthened, they are also annoyed by changes that affect them personally. Law 46 never appear too perfect. Beware, envy creates silent enemies. It is wise to occasionally display weaknesses and admit to harmless vices to deflect envy and appear more human and approachable. Law 47, don't go past the mark you aimed for. In victory, learn when to stop. Don't let success go to your head. The moment you achieve victory is usually when you're at your most vulnerable. Don't get ahead of yourself with your overconfidence and push beyond your initial target. This could create more enemies than you're capable of defeating. So, once you reach your goal, just stop. Law 48. Assume formlessness. By having a plan that can be seen, you open yourself to attack. Instead of taking a form for your enemy to understand, keep yourself adaptable and on the move. The best way to protect yourself is to be as fluid and formless as water. What's the coolest law for you and why?